Hello everyone, my name is Trevor and this is the third video in my robot series. I am showing off a few more extra things I've added in a while. My last video was in January and this is nine months later. Um, I have added two extra sonars. Uh, I have also added some infrared sensors both to the sides and one down in the front here. And I have also added a lot of extra programming in. Uh, I have a digital compass and a Bluetooth GPS, both of which uh, uh, that the robot is using. Um, I have also completely changed out the old computer for a new one. Uh, this new computer has a USB 2.0 instead of 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, the uh, wires on top have gotten a little bit more messy, that's for sure. Um, the camera, the servos that are controlling the camera, now actually run through through this wire down to the USB port on the computer. So the servos here are actually controlled by computer instead of instead of the Arduino. So uh, I also have I have developed a new interface. This is the desktop on the computer that I can control, that I can log into. Uh, right now everything is up and running, so I'm going to show a little bit about it. So over on this side I have, this is, this is a 600 by 600 pixel display, and each pixel is one square inch, and it's pretty accurate, it's all done by sonar. So as the robot moves around, the sonars will map and draw. Green is area that's clear, and the red at the end is area where it detects an object. So you can see the four sonars spread out are actually they're actually the four sonars that you see here. One down here and there that are pointing forward and the two pointing out at 45 degree angles. Now notice the ones in the back are they're further back in and they're pointed outwards just as they are here. If you look right at their origin right where they originate they start back here. So I also have this is the, uh, the this is the main user interface window. Right now I have the GPS off, but that's where I get all my GPS data. Um, I can see what the Arduino is sending, the, com the number command being sent to the motors. I can see how many milliseconds per loop that the Arduino is doing, usually about 150 to 200 milliseconds. Right here I can see what the Arduino thinks its digital position is in X and Y coordinates in inches. And then I can see the inch readings on the sonars. I can see this heading is the calculated position from reading the encoders on the back of the motor. This compass reading is actually the reading from the digital compass. Because when the robot's moving around, the compass reading is 640, 640 milliseconds delayed. So it uses its it uses its own internal compass while moving around, and then when it stops, it picks up the digital compass signal and overwrites it. And uh, odometer, that's how many inches traveled total. And these are my infrared sensor readings. Right now I have them set if they go above 350 to break the left or wheel, the left right 
wheel or both depending on which sensor. So you can see right now I have the camera set to keyboard mode and the I have an RC keyboard mode set. So let me show you my camera setup here. Now S is to reset the camera position and it's reset. And then W is up, X is down, A is left, D is right. So I'm going to hold up here and demonstrate. So you can see, I can look around, and all of these commands, all of these commands going in the keyboard here are going through my wireless router, and they're actually coming back down through this Wi-Fi hotspot and the robot terminal cam is connected to this Wi-Fi hotspot. So I'm going to put this right here and because it's connected to that I can actually drive this robot around anywhere I want. Anywhere you can get a phone signal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you. I'm going to drive it around. So you See, I can, if I spin it to the right a little bit here, so you look on here, see now it's starting to draw at about a quarter or 25% transparency. It draws the sonar readings. So I can turn the robot a little bit more. And what it does is it gradually, as the robot moves around, it will map out the room. Now I know my sonar readings aren't, I know the the arc width of my sonar readings is not a hundred percent accurate and I'm still working on that. It's very, sonar is a very tricky thing to work with, but I can see my sonar readings and I can see what the digital compass is reading. So everything on here is north, south, east, and west. Also, one of the latest features I've added, most of these work right now. I can, I can also control it with my joystick. I can control the camera, you know, with yaw left and right and up and down here. But uh, the main thing I want to show, and this is what is being used when eventually I get the full AI working and this thing is running on its own. But if you can see, see, see the robot right now is pointed out this way. Now I'm going to come up here, see how I know this is safe area. All I'm going to do is just click and it sends the command to the robot to move to that XY coordinate. So all I'm going to do, as you can see, I'm just going to click once and the robot automatically moves to that XY coordinate right on the spot or as close as it can. So I can come back around see it's also finding see now there's not very much room for it to move around here because well it's up against a, a wall. So what I'm gonna do here I'm going to switch it back to RC keyboard mode and I'm going to back the robot up. This RC keyboard mode is has full control over the robot. It's kind of a an overwrite right now for me a safe mode for it to get it out of uh, troubles. So I'm going to point it a little bit that way and I'm going to tell it to go over there using the mouse click. So if you can see, there it is, it's pointed that way. So I'm going to tell it to go, I'm just going to click over here. Now when it's doing this, it's watching all the sonars, the Arduino is watching all the sonars, making sure that it doesn't hit anything. So it will, it will avoid obstacles. 
So let's try again. I'm going to click back down here. And it stopped. This is uh, more that I need to work on that it, to have it actually spin around instead of just uh, trying to move forward or it's it's a work in progress. Let's see. This is where it's come up against the uh, sofa. So I'm going to switch back to RC keyboard and back it back up again here right now this is this is 10 percent speed so this is only this is only a hair of how fast it can go but uh, that's basically what I wanted to show you my summary of it so far for all of you watching and uh, you can see that it's it does slowly build up a map of the room uh, I still have a little bit of what bugs to work out yet I have a it's not in the encoder readings aren't entirely accurate but that's where the GPS comes in to help more pinpoint its location but uh, I can't do that indoors and uh, so basically what I do is I drive this around like this with a little Skype window down here and I can see everything that the camera sees and hear everything that the microphone hears and it also has a speaker on it just a little one right now but uh, so I can actually talk back so basically I can drive it around while Skyped watching where I'm going if there's anything in the way and have all kinds of sensor readout data and this is all going through the 4G hotspot so I can drive this pretty much wherever I want. Uh, thank you for watching if you have any questions let me know and I'll do the best I can to answer. Thank you.